this would definitely be an asset in the field um, just because it, it takes the human element out of the equation. Um, I mean, I, I would much rather be the guy sitting behind a thick piece of armor controlling a, a remote turret, shooting back at the bad guys. That way, I don't get hurt myself. My name is Sergeant Nicholas Ames, uh, formerly of the United States Marine Corps. I was a scout sniper, special forces, served all around the world, uh, most notably in Iraq, Afghanistan, and uh, Fallujah in November 2004. There's a whole bunch of applications I can think of right off the top of my head, everything from being a prison guard, uh, monitoring from a central location, hundreds if not you know, more uh, stations are all around the prison. To the soldier on the ground and in foreign lands, um, you got multiple turrets up on the top of a Humvee plus the guy in the turret. Uh, I think you got more eyes on, on targets. Easier to scan rooftops and that sort of thing. There's literally hundreds of things I can foresee this going on. Uh, aircraft, such as helicopters or, or biplanes or something like that. And since it's using video game technology, I think it's easy to operate and it's just it's good. It's very, very good. I just want to reiterate that the biggest advantage to this weapon system is taking the human element out of the equation. I cannot put a price tag on one of my Marines' lives. I've seen way too many of them die and it's not worth it. So using a remote weapon system like this and taking my Marines out of it is worth every penny.